Hey guys, it's Sheena with Utah Thrifts, and today I have a clothing haul to share with you. So these are brands that I pick up regularly. So, hey guys, hey guys, it's Sheena with Utah Thrifts, and today I have a video haul. Hmm, yes I do. Hey guys, it's Sheena with Utah Thrifts, and today I have a clothing haul to share with you. So these are brands that I pick up regularly, and a few of them are new brands that I love to find and experiment with and share with you guys. Hey guys, it's Sheena with Utah Thrifts, and today I have a clothing haul to share with you. So a lot of these are brands that I pick up regularly, and some of them are brand new. Hey guys, it's Sheena with Utah Thrifts, and today I have a clothing haul to share with you. So these are brands that I pick up regularly, and they tend to do really well for me reselling. Hey guys, it's Sheena with Utah Thrifts, and today I have a clothing haul to share with you. So these, a lot of them are brands that I pick up on a regular basis. Hey guys, it's Sheena with Utah Thrifts, and today I have a clothing haul to share with you. As you can see, I have a huge pile here, so let's just jump right in and get started. And if you like reseller content like this or learning how to grow your own reselling business, please like and subscribe to my channel where I will be sharing with you my own reselling journey. Okay, first thing is this Garnet Hill 100% cashmere sweater. Um, I actually have never picked up Garnet Hill before. I picked this up simply because of the cashmere, but when I got it home, I did notice it had a few holes. So um, that is one thing you always wanna be on the lookout for with cashmere is most of the time it will have holes. So um, the other thing is I just heard a another YouTuber mention that Garnet Hill was one of her bread and butter brands. So. I'm gonna to have to probably experiment a little bit more with this brand. So I will be on the lookout more for pieces by Garnet Hill and I'll kind of play around and see how those do. So if you have any luck selling Garnet Hill, if you're a, re a reseller, then uh, let me know in the comments how it does for you. And then this is a new brand, April Cornell. I believe this is vintage and this is just this green floral maxi dress with the ruffle hem. Um, comps looked really good, like 40 bucks and up, so I was really happy to find that. So be on the lookout for April Cornell if you ever find her pieces. Abercrombie & Fitch is another brand that has been doing pretty well for me lately, especially in the vintage like outerwear or heavy knit sweaters. So this is actually an Abercrombie & Fitch vintage blazer, a men's blazer. Um, wool blend, it has the herringbone print. Um, I'm hoping to get like around the $100 mark for that. So be on the lookout for the vintage stuff. And Cole, K-U-H-L, another brand I always pick up in both the men's and the women's. Um, this is just a women's shirt. And then Lane Bryant, this is a plus size brand. I do not pick up Lane Bryant very often, but some pieces sell really well, and this is one of them. This is the Bryant Blazer, and it's this floral print blazer. I've sold a couple of these in the past, so that is one item to be on the lookout for. And then another bread and butter item for me is, or bread and, brother, bread and butter brand, is this Lauren Ralph Lauren. This is kind of like all messed up, but Lauren Ralph Lauren, this is a ladies 100% silk floral wrap blouse. So that should probably go for like around 40 bucks because it's silk. And then another Ralph Lauren piece, but this is Ralph Lauren Sport. Um, this is a cable knit sweater and I have sold a couple of these in the past. They always do well for me, 35, 40 bucks. Another Lauren Ralph Lauren piece just this pink floral dress and hoping to get probably around the same 35 40 bucks for that okay and then this is a brand yay this is double d ranch and so this there's a section in my thrift store next to the changing rooms that people leave the items that they've tried on and don't want 
and I find the best stuff there. This is one of those items. I've heard of this brand, never found it, first time finding it. It is this Western embroidered front, long suede leather maxi skirt. And some comps for skirts like this are going for like 200 plus. So I've already had an offer on this. It is already listed. And by the way, if you see anything in today's haul that you like, I have everything already listed in my stores. Those are linked below in the description box. And if you are a reseller like me, and you're curious to know what some of these items sell for, what I make off of them, and how long they take to sell, I will be posting an update video in about 30 days from now. So that will be linked either here somewhere in the video or in the description box. So you can go check that out if you're interested. And then Adriana Goldschmied. Um, this is a brand that does really well for me in the men's jeans. This is the Everett jean. So that does well. I just sold a pair of um, Adriana Goldschmied jeans today that I need to ship out. And then Torrid, my favorite plus size brand to resell. This is just a striped top, floral bottom, just this like knee length dress with pockets. And this, these kind of things do okay, not like super great, but um, the things I really love to sell in the Torrid brand are maxi dresses, maxi skirts, blazers, bras, and sometimes even shoes do really well for me. So, but I do sell other things in Torrid um, just because it is, it does eventually sell and it does okay for me. So Lazy Oaf, this is a new brand that I discovered, never had heard of it before. This is, I believe, a maternity brand, and it has such a cute print. It's these pink flying pigs, and it's got the pockets. Um, looks like comps look really good, so we'll see how that does. And then again, Lauren Ralph Lauren. This is an evening dress, just this purple color, so we'll see how that does. And then Vintage. This is a pair of Toffs, T-O-F-F-S, never heard of this brand, but the fact that these are 100% leather, high-waisted pleated front pants is what sold me on them. Um, I know low rise is a little more in trend right now with the Y2K stuff, um, and then I know that leather was a big trend for a bit, not sure if it still is, but um, anytime I see something that's good quality leather, I will usually pick it up if it's like a good style. And the only thing with these is they smell old. They have that mothball smell. So if anybody knows how to get that smell out of leather, please let me know in the comments because I hate that smell and I do not want to ship it out smelling that way. Another brand that's new to me, Sun Dry. Never heard of this brand. Um, from the front, it just looks like this plaid high-low button shirt for women. What sold me is the back. It has all of this... Um, this list of like cities and states and I'm not sure what they mean. I know Park City, Utah. I'm in Utah. Park City is big for skiing. I know Aspen, Colorado is. So I'm not sure if it's like an outdoor brand. If anybody knows anything about this brand Sundry, please let me know in the comments. And another brand I love to pick up is Rock Revival. This is a pair of Stan men's jeans. A lot of distressing on the front does have some marks here. I don't think those are supposed to be there. I think they are maybe some stains. I need to see if I can get those out in the wash. But yes, Rock Revival, I love picking up that brand. Another Torrid piece. This is one of the pieces that kind of is like, meh, does all right. Maybe can sell for about the $20 range here. And then this shirt, Snoopy. The print is what sold me on this. Um, it has no brand, no size, and no material tag. It really just feels kind of like this cheap polyester shirt that was made in China. But the print was so cute, I just, I had to do it. Hopefully it sells. And then Talbot's, this is a brand that if I find it in kind of a fun piece, like this has all the floral print, if I find it with new with tags in a fun print, I will always pick up Talbot's because it sells for me. Um, actually, even I sold just a plain gray like cardigan sweater just like a week ago. So um, I'm curious if any of you sell this brand used. 
So if you have good luck selling this brand, please let, please let me know in the comments. I may rethink and start picking up more of that brand. And another new brand for me is Kyla CO. And I'm not sure if this is like an anthropology brand. I don't think it is, but it looks so much like it could be. It's this boho button front dress. It's got this crazy embroidery all over. Really cute. So we'll see how that does. All right, and then this was like the find of the day for me. That and the Double D Ranch skirt. And both of them I found in that like section that people just like leave the stuff they've tried on. Best section ever. It's like a freaking like gold mine over there. Veronica Beard. This is just this black cotton maxi dress. It's button front all the way down. It's got the tiered skirt. It's got these puff shoulders. Super cute. It is missing the size tag. Um, so I did note the measurements in the description. I think it's probably a large. Um, very cute. I almost considered keeping it for myself or at least wearing it a time or two before I sell it. But I just, I really don't. This is the extent of my dress up most days, so. Eileen Fisher, another bread and butter brand for me. This is just this plain navy blue jersey dress. I've sold a couple of these in the past. They tend to do all right for me. Um, Eileen Fisher does better in the larger sizes. I hear that from a lot of resellers, and that's also true for me too. Um, another new brand, Indian Larry Legacy. I think this might be like a motorcycle brand, not sure. But this is this heavyweight, I think it's vintage, heavyweight thermal men's shirt. And it's got this big print on the back. Um, I was really surprised that comps looked like between 30 and 40 bucks. So excited to see what that goes for. And then our good old Lululemon ladies hoodie. It's got the high slits on the sides. And then it's got the spell out um, brand name on the back. Another new brand, this has actually already sold. This is Jane Barnes, and this is a men's linen silk blend shirt. It's got a fun geometric print, and actually it was missing a button, so I had my boyfriend, who's also my seamstress, he um, took the button from up here at the collar and he sewed it down there. So I did note in the description that it's missing this top button and it's still sold for like 40 bucks. So this is another brand to be on the lookout for. Um, I do not really find, that's the first time I've ever found that brand. So, but if you ever do find it, pick it up. Built is an athletic brand. This is a men's striped t-shirt, feels really good quality. Um, these do not resell for a ton, but the resell, the sell through rate is pretty good on them. Last time I checked at least. And then there's Tommy Bahama, which I love picking up. I don't know why some resellers do not have a good, uh, they don't sell this very well, I guess, because it sells great for me. I usually sell a Tommy Bahama piece every single week. This is a men's 100% linen long sleeve button front shirt. I've sold a few of these in the past, $35, $40 range. And then another bread and butter brand for me is Peter Millar. These are just... Um, some men's Oxford shirts. I have a few of them. And this is a striped one. And then there's this one. I think this might also be the older Peter Millar tag. And then there is this Western brand called Resistol. And it's got the snap front closure on the front and uh, comps looked pretty good. I have a hat in the same brand, but I never have found clothing items. So we'll see how that does. Prana. This is a pair of women's green nylon shorts. We'll see how these do. The pants in both women's and men's do really well for me. So it's the first time finding a pair of shorts. We'll see how that does. And another brand I love to pick up is Flaherty. This is a men's striped polo shirt. Um, I rarely find this without holes so definitely a great brand to be on the lookout for and it has oh, it has a very high sell through rate over a hundred percent and BKE is another brand that um, some pieces do really well in so the jeans the Jake jeans that are men's jeans they do really well for me and these kind of like western snap front shirts both long sleeve and short sleeve tend to do pretty well for me 
And there is White House Black Market. This is the newest tag, I think. And this is a jean jacket. Um, I do still pick up blazers in older, uh, with the older tags. Um, and the, those do okay for me. Halogen. This is a brand I do not pick up a ton. If you have luck selling halogen, let me know what types of items sell good for you. Um, the reason I picked this up is because it is 100% leather. It's got a nice buttery soft feel to it. I've already had some inquiries about it. Um, it's kind of got the moto style. So a new brand that I've never heard of is Rebel Spirit. Comps looked good for this brand and um, it actually, I thought it was Affliction at first because it looks a lot like the Affliction brand. It's got all the embroidery, the cross, the, the like spell out stuff. Like, so if you ever find this crazy type print stuff, just run a comp on it and check out the brand and some of it does really well. Another brand never heard of is Valentina. Not sure if this is vintage or not, but the tiger print on the front and the back is what sold me on it and I have already had an offer on this. Another new brand, Kamana, and I think initially I thought this was with, uh, that better not be a stain. I don't think it is. Anyway, I thought this was initially anthropology, but I don't think it is, but just really cute boho. It's got the zip front. Um, comps looked like 35, 40 bucks. So another brand I almost always pick up is exclusively Missook. Even the like just really plain tops do pretty well for me. So this was a really fun all over gold sequin tiger print front zip um, jacket. So that should end up selling pretty well for me. And then there's this Adidas Originals cropped hoodie. I do not pick up Adidas Originals uh, hoodies or sweatshirts unless they have something unique about them. Um, the reason I got this is because it's cropped. If it had a really cool, unique print, I would have got it. But just this regular print on a sweatshirt, I would not pick up. I have a couple and they've been sitting for like a very long time. And then these hoodie sweatshirts with the Ivy League colleges, college names embroidered on the front, they tend to do pretty well. So this is Harvard. The brand is Ivy Sport Clothing Company. Never heard of it before, but um, it definitely is a good quality. And I do still pick up free people if it's something cute and unique. This is a tunic top with the keyhole cut out in front and back. Um, dresses do pretty well in, for, in Free People for me, but yes, in general, Free People tends to sit a lot longer than it used to. And then there is this L.L. Bean men's outdoor shirt. It's got the zip pocket in front. Um, this is not vintage. The vintage L.L. Bean does better for me. And that if it, it's vintage, if it says Freeport, Maine on the front, um, this is not vintage, but We'll see how that does. I'm not exactly sure why I picked that up, to be honest, but. And then Bowden. This is the new tag. It's got the pink dot. The old tag has the blue dot. And this is just a wrap dress, long sleeve. That should sell pretty well for probably like $35, $40 range. And then there is another torrid piece, just a blouse. I'm guessing this should sell between $20, $24. And there is J. Jill, this goose down quilted coat. And I love to pick up J. Jill in the linen. That does really well for me. This is the first time I found a goose down coat by J. Jill. Um, so I did check comps and comps look pretty good. So we'll give that a shot. And another torrid piece. This is the super soft plush. It's got the beading on the front. I've sold, a, I've sold actually like two sweaters like this in the past. And another torrid piece. This is an open front long wool sweater cardigan knit. And that will definitely sell. It may take a few months and when the weather gets colder. It's July, it's, oh my gosh, it's the first day of August. It's August, summer's over almost, ah. 
Drew House. This is the last and final piece, and Drew House is a brand I've never heard of in my life. But when I looked at the retail price of this, this exact sweater goes for like $195. So I checked comps, comps look decent, hoping to get over a hundred for this. Really heavy, thick, good quality. So, whew. All right, that is it for today's clothing haul. Thank you for joining me. And if you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.